Good, Good morning, morning Golden, Golden View. View. Today is Tuesday, January 24th, 2017. Today for lunch is the choice of a turkey, ham, or meatball Subway sandwich, or a grilled cheese sandwich with fresh apples, the salad bar, and a milk on the side. Attention Golden View, today is the final day to turn in your paperwork for this week's three-day babysitting class, which starts today after school from 3 to 5 p.m. Only a limited amount of spots are still available for this incredible opportunity. Students who attend all three days of the babysitting class will become a certified Red Cross babysitter and learn the skills needed to take care of a child. So if you have paperwork ready to go, turn it into the office today along with your $22 and come to Miss Cart's classroom, which is in room 333 in the Sirius Pod. If you are looking for something different to do during lunch, Mr. Klotz's classroom is open to all students who want to know the basics of Photoshop. The online course is fun and free, so bring your lunch and a friend to Mr. Klotz's classroom, which is room 335 in the Sirius Pod. Okay, Golden View, now it's time to take you down to the library for a book talk with Mrs. Ruhi. Book talk, book talk, book talk Tuesday. So we're two weeks into Read Around the World, and I know several people have started, but we have lots of passports left, so I hope more of you get started. And to get you started on your adventure reading around the world, I thought maybe we could talk about Antarctica books today, especially because it's so cold and snowy, it seems appropriate. So this is based on a true story, Emperors of the Ice, and it's about a young man named Cherry. He's only 23, and he has no skills and is almost blind. But when Captain Scott asks him to join his voyage to be the first person to reach the South Pole, he jumps at it, and he actually ends up being a fearless and invaluable member of the expedition. He goes and he steals emperor penguin eggs in the middle of a blizzard so they can study them. And when Captain Scott and four others set off to reach the South Pole, he's one of the people who puts down food for him um, to come so he'll have food on his journey back. The second story, The White Darkness, is about uh, Captain Oates who wandered off and tried to save the rest of his party so that they didn't stay for him. This is about Sim, who is in love with him, except for she lives in the current days and he's long dead, but she is um, really fascinated by him and Captain Scott and the whole expedition and everything about Antarctica. And so when her uncle offers her the chance to go on an Antarctic expedition, she jumps at it but her uncle is just a little bit crazy and maybe dangerous, and when she finds herself trapped down there, she doesn't know if she'll be able to survive. And finally, we have Surviving Antarctica, Reality TV 2083, and this is a reality TV show that is based on recreating all of the perils that Captain Scott went through on his ill-fated journey from 1912. And uh, the people who go out on this reality TV aren't giving any extra help. So they will either survive or not. So these are three exciting adventure stories. Come down to the library and check one of them out. This is a reminder that tonight is the final night to study for the upcoming Geography Bee here at Golden View. The school-wide competition takes place tomorrow during periods one and two in the library. And finally, this is a reminder to all Golden View mathletes, there is a Math Counts meeting today during lunch in Miss Smith's room. Well, that's all for today, Golden View. Have, Have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday! Tuesday.